Benedict the Sixteenth Book. Legalization of same-sex marriage is a distortion of conscience. In a new publication from Benedict XVI on September 16, 2021, called La Vira Europa, he expressed his views about the legalization of same-sex marriage, calling it a distortion of conscience. We gather very important Catholic doctrine on same-sex marriage in the words of Pope Benedict XVI from an article published by CNA Catholic News Agency, quoting from an interview with Lo Serpatore Romano on August 28, 2010, which is part of the book. Pope Emeritus Benedict XVI has said that the legalization of same-sex marriage in many countries is a distortion of conscience, which has also entered some Catholic circles. In an introduction to a new anthology of his writings on Europe, Benedict XVI said that with the legalization in family has taken on a new dimension that cannot be ignored. We are witnessing a distortion of conscience, which has evidently penetrated deeply into sectors of the Catholic people. The Pope Emeritus wrote, this cannot be answered with some small moralism or even with some exegetical reference. The problem goes deeper and therefore must be addressed in fundamental terms. The book compiles texts from Benedict XVI written both before and during his pontificate, which lasted from 2005 to 2013. In his introduction, Benedict XVI said it was important to observe that the concept of same-sex marriage is in contradiction with all the cultures of humanity that have followed one another up to now, and thus signifies a cultural revolution that is opposed to the whole tradition of humanity until today. He pointed out that there is no doubt that different cultures have differing juridical and moral conceptions of marriage and the family, such as the profound differences between polygamy and monogamy. But he emphasized that the basic community has never questioned the fact that the existence of the human being in his male and female forms is ordered to procreation, as well as the fact that the community of male and female and openness to the transmission of life determine the essence of what is called marriage. The basic certainty that mankind exists as male and female, that the transmission of life is a task assigned to mankind, that it is the community of male and female that serves this task, and that in this, beyond all differences, marriage essentiality consists. It is an original certainty that has been obvious to humanity up to now, Benedict said. The Pope Emeritus wrote that the fundamental upheaval of this idea was introduced with the invention of the contraceptive pill and the possibility it gave of separating fertility from sexuality. This separation means, in fact, that in this way all of the forms of sexuality are equivalent, he said, a fundamental criterion no longer exists. This new message, according to Benedict, profoundly transformed men and women's consciences, first slowly and now more clearly, from the separation of sexuality from fertility. He continued, comes the inverse. Fertility naturally can be thought of even without sexuality. Benedict XVI noted that it therefore seems right 
to no longer trust the procreation of humans to the occasional passion of the flesh, but rather to plan and produce the human rationality. Thus, a human being is no longer generated and conceived, but made. The retired pontiff underlined, which signifies that a human person is not a gift to be received, but a product planned by our doing. He added that if we can plan to make life, it must also be true that we can plan to destroy it, noting that the growing support for assisted suicide and euthanasia as a planned end to one's life is an integral part of the trend described. The question of same-sex marriage, he continued, is not a question of being a little more broad-minded and open. Rather, the basic question arises, who is man? And with it, also the question of whether there is a creator or if we are not all just manufactured products. This alternative arises. Either man is a creature of God. He is the image of God. He is a gift from God. Or man is a product that he himself knows how to create. Benedict XVI wrote, He said the ecological movement has established that there are limits to nature that we cannot ignore. And in the same way, a human person possesses a nature that has been given to him, and the violation or denial of it leads to self-destruction. This is also the case with the creation of man as male and female, which is ignored in the hypothesis of same-sex marriage, he stressed. Comments How reviving to hear the voice of the true shepherd of the Catholic Church. For eight years, we have heard contradicting statements about homosexuality, and we have seen how the Church has extended its support to the LGTB movement. There have been many ambiguous statements about homosexuals. One day, they are defended. Another day, they are not in communion with the Church. But according to the head, of the Church, God is going to save us all, including those on the wrong side? Hmm, I wonder. Thanks be to God for keeping Pope Benedict alive. How great is to hear the voice of the real pastor of the Church. If you like this video, please give us a like. Subscribe to our channel, The Work of God. Share on social networks. And do not forget to leave your valuable comments. What do you think about Pope Benedict XVI? God bless you.